What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the Card Fight Casual channel and today, as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be going over my budget Nova Grappler deck, updated with the new cards from VEB06, Light of Salvation and Logic of Destruction. Now this set came out just over a week ago, or just under a week ago, uh, in Singapore and this is of course the Japanese version as you can tell by the cards. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go through all the cards. If you want to see the strategy behind this, I'll probably release another video of that a little bit later on. But today, I think I'm just going to go over the cards and the effects themselves because um, probably not a lot of people want to sit through the whole thing. But if you want to watch that, uh, leave a like and a comment down below and I'll post it up as soon as possible. So that was just the starter, White Tiger. Of course, uh, there's no real difference in the starters between all the clans because they do the same thing. On ride, draw one. and uh, On ride, you can draw one. Um, but the thing is, with the new set, there's a card that works with uh, the White Tiger, and so that's why we play the White Tiger instead of Battle Riser or Tap the Hyper. So, starting off with the Great Threes, and this deck plays a lot of them, uh, mostly because this deck relies on drawing a lot of Great Threes early in the game. Or not early in the game, but uh, as kind of for the effects. So, we start off with four copies of Asura Kaiser, and here's my OR. Very nice, one of the best looking cards from the original Vanguard set. Well, not the best looking cards, but it's nostalgic. Anyways, his skill is on Vanguard. When he drive checks a grade 2 or higher, you can stand one of your rear guards. And if you have a grade 3 as a drive check, you can counter blast one and stand that unit and give it blast 10k. So basically, that turns all your grade 3s uh, into bona fide stand triggers in the new set, or rather in the new series, because, you know, there's no stand triggers in Vanguard V now. Um, and it also turns your grade 2s into stand triggers as well, albeit minus the no 10k effect. Uh, but he's a really good card um, if you are staff for Counter Blast. If there's any any case where your opponent wants to whack your rear guards instead of your vanguard, he's a really good card. Next, we play four, three copies rather of uh, Maximum Razor. So this card is a fantastic card. Unfortunately, he has no gift. But on Vanguard and Rearguard, if he's not boosted during that battle where he attacked a vanguard, he gets plus 10k. So this is of course. Uh, one of the most important cards in the deck, mostly because he's going to be the main source of um, attacking power uh, besides one of the new cards that we are running. His skill allows him to hit 32 on the rearguard circles which makes even a single drive check, even a grade 2 drive check uh, from Asura Kaiser, a very powerful restander. 32k is almost always at least a 20k guard, uh, of course unless your opponent has a damage trigger but in those cases uh, it's kind of difficult. Uh, but yeah, he's a grade 3, he contributes to the triggers and he's one of the best cards um, for Nova Grapplers in this point. And updated, one of the only new cards, or the only new grade 3 that I'm running is the uh, the Incise Riser. So Incise Riser's skill is that when he attacks on Vanguard, you can counter blast one and stand all your rear guards on your Excel circles. Now uh, that means of course you get a free restand with uh, Maximum Riser, and he's just a fantastic um, game finisher and late game or mid game card. So once you get to two rear guards or two excel circles I should say, he becomes um, really worth it for the one counter blast, you get at least two stands. Um, well, it is true that uh, Asura Kaiser can also stand two, it's not guaranteed, and it's based on drive checks even if he does give power. Uh, of course, at the early game you don't want to ride in size riser just because you are, well, counter blast one for one early game is pretty good. Um, but you want to be able to stand things that are not on your Excel circles, for example. Uh, Incise Riser won't allow you to do that. So Asura Kaiser is still the first ideal ride. Uh, if you want to, you can play Azure Dragon in place of Asura Kaiser, and this will be pretty much an updated deck. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the Great 2. Starting off, we have two copies of Burst Riser. So Burst Riser is a card from uh, BT01, uh, but his skill is really good. Some people like to play the Black Tortoise or both of these cards, but for me, because I'm not running Azure Dragon, I find the Black Tortoise isn't as great. Essentially, their effects are the same. Uh, on When your Vanguard attacks, you can Count Blast 1, Soul Blast 1 to stand this unit, and if your opponent has 4 more damage, uh, you can give this unit plus 3000 power. So I played two copies of him because you don't want to fill up your hand with this card, uh, because after a while, uh, just the 12k even if your opponent's at 4 damage, isn't really going to cut it, and he's really only good when you can boost, uh, stand the booster behind him. Um, but in most cases, early game, he's really, really good for rush, but you don't really want to see him pretty much after turn 2 or turn 3 at the most. Um, I play 4 Genocide Jack just because this is a brand new card that is really, really strong for Nova Grapplers, uh, making his debut from, uh, his return rather, from the original series, his skill is on Vanguard and Rearguard, during your turn, he has power plus 10,000. So he's a 19k attacker, 29 on an Excel circle, 
but he has a restriction. So in the old Vanguard, you could Count Blast 1 to release his restriction and allow him to attack for that turn, but in the new series of Vanguard, his skill is that he can't stand during the stand phase, and once a turn, you can rest two of your rear guards to stand him. So uh, there's a combo that works with this, but I'll go over that in the separate video. Uh, but just know that he's a really powerful attacker, and um, yeah, there's just uh, some other cards that work really well with him. Next we have King of Sword. So this is a promo card uh, that we got in both Japanese and English format, and his skill is a fantastic skill. Vanguard Rega, when you call him from your hand, you can Soul Blast 1 and give 2 of your units plus 3k. And if you have 5 or more units on the field at that time, uh, you can give those 2 units plus 5k instead of 3k. So he's just really good for making those big swings, especially on hitting force numbers. It's really, really important. And of course, against Excel and a Protect Lens, he just straight up makes your opponent drop uh, probably another card or a bigger value card because that 5k is, you know, just another... It's the next level of card that you need to, uh, to guard against. So yeah, 3 King of Sword, pretty good. You have not really much soul issues in this deck because of one of the cards I'll be running, and I'll show you that later. And we have 3 Riffling Razor. Now, a lot of people kind of underestimate this card because he doesn't have a really flashy effect, but his skill is Vanguard or Rearguard when he attacks. Uh, doesn't have to be a Vanguard, can swing at anything. Uh, you can, once, uh, for the, during that, I think for the rest of the turn, you give one of your units plus 3k, and if that unit is resting, you give that unit plus 5k instead. So this is a really ideal swing when you are about to swing and stand again. Uh, that unit that you had rested for an attack or for a skill or anything, uh, he's just really good at helping you hit numbers and boost up uh, rear guards that would not have been able to attack, maybe due to some damage trigger. And next we go through the grade ones. So the grade ones I play four copies of this new card. Kind of looks like Iron Man, but he is Beast Deity, uh, a Zero Falcon, I think. Oh. Yeah, well, I don't really know his name, but he's uh, some sort of Falcon. And his skill is that when you call him, you can Soul Blast 1 and stand all the units on the field. That's right, all units, so he directly counters uh, Zanbaku's uh, stand lock. Uh, but in that sense, um, uh, he's just really a good counter against another aggressive uh, deck, Murakubo. But more importantly, his second skill, or the second part of his skill, is that uh, when you stand two or more units, you can draw, and if you have this White Tiger and Soul, you can draw one card. So you always want to have enough Soul that you don't have to Soul Blast out the White Tiger. But at the same time, even just the standing effect is really good enough. So if you're pushing for final game and you don't need that extra card, you can just Soul Blast out that White Tiger. And we have three copies of uh, Razor Custom. So Razor Custom works really well with Genocide Jack because if you place him behind the Jack and you rest two of the units, then he will stand up again after Jack stands. And basically you only need to rest uh, essentially one unit, uh, one other unit on field, and you'll be able to stand your Jack and have a full column of 27k with the 8k boosting. And the last card for Great Ones, I run four copies of Shout. So you know how I said I run a lot of copies of Great 2s and 3s because this uh, this deck run relies on drawing higher grades. This is the other card besides Azura Kaiser that relies on higher grades. So Shout's skill is a pretty good skill. You can rest him um, on the rearguard only. Unfortunately, I wish it was a vanguard skill as well, so you could use him on the first turn if you rode him. But unfortunately, uh, rearguard only rest him and check the top card of your deck. Both players reveal the top card of your deck. Uh, the player with the higher card, higher grade card uh, draws that card, the player with the lower grade card sends that card to Soul, and if both grades are the same, both players draw that card. So this is a really, really good card because it allows you to basically uh, call this down on the back row, tap this card, and let's say your hand was empty, or you used all your cards the previous turn to guard, and now you have basically nothing to attack with. Uh, you can tap Shout and hopefully draw something Grade 3 or Grade 2 and you can fill your field. Especially good against uh, attacking uh, rather clans that retire your rear guards. You want to retire other things. Uh, most of the time they won't target Shout. And of course if you have two Shouts on field, it's really good for either filling your hand early game if you predict that you, you know, it's, it's kind of a gamble. But at the same time, um, if you are playing against a deck with maybe not a lot of Grade 3s or not a lot of Grade 2s even, then he's really really good. Uh, you can make your opponent soul charge the triggers, even though, you know, sometimes you soul charge your triggers. But uh, at the worst case, you do get that one soul, and you can use the soul for all the different effects, like uh, the Falcon that I just mentioned, and uh, effects like um, King of Sword and Burst Riser. So all around, a pretty good card. And that is it for the great ones, pretty much. And next up, we're just going to run through the triggers before we end this video. 
uh, and then we'll move on to another part or another video where we'll go through the combos. So in this deck, I only run two heals, um, partially because of the new brand skill where you drive check a heal trigger, you take one damage instead of healing one damage. At first, I was considering running um, just no heals at all, but I do realize, I or I realized at that time that. Uh, having two heals is kind of and source some sort of healing is important in Nova Grapplers because you rack up damage really fast, being an XL clan which vomits the hand onto the field. And that 20k shield is always good even if you draw that card or if you drive check it, it's always really good for defense. Uh, especially because you play more grade 2s and grade 3s, you actually want this extra defense to bolster your defenses. And I also play 7, oop, that's kind of out of line, but I play 7 copies of. Uh, front triggers because in this deck it is all about the rush and if you can stand your front row many many times the front triggers are really really the best and of course I like the the um, the feeling of not having to decide whether you want to put the trigger to vanguard or rear guard if you get a front trigger you just check the next trigger and you know you don't have to play any mind games with the opponent you just beat them because your whole front row has 10k even if they guarded two pass for the first one uh, for the Vanguard, you can just, if you draft check that front trigger, you give everything front. And then if you draft check a second trigger, then that's great, it goes through. If not, then, you know, it doesn't really make a difference. And last of all, I play three crits. Of course, you gotta play the two and the one just to confuse your opponent on how many crits you're playing. But I do feel that crits are really early, uh, really good early game because you have to push your opponent to five in order for them to really, really feel the effects of this deck. Uh, just because they won't be able to take any more damage as uh, triggers, getting any power that would invalidate your turn. And anyways, last of all, I play four perfect cards as draw triggers because you still need draw and perfect cards in the force meta is going to be really important. Anyways guys, that was the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and stay tuned for the, um, the other video that's coming out soon that is going to talk about the strategies. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, have fun and remember, it's okay to play casual.